What's going on everyone? This is ODC. It's me and I'm back another action figure review. This is my review of the WWE Mattel Elite Series 38 Macho Man action figure from Bash at the Beach 1995. Um, <laughs> I know this is very, this could be, um, you might get confused and say, wait, that's, that's Bash at the Beach 96. Didn't you wear that when, you was, when the NWO was formed? He actually did not wear this attire. He wore this attire in 95. Um, 96 is when the NWO was formed and he was wearing a different tire with I believe pink and yellow I believe it was pink and yellow and he had like stars pink and yellow stars and stuff like that and he had like stripes and stuff so uh, And he also had face paint for that. I believe it was a six-man tag and then it was Sting Luger and Macho Man versus the Outsiders and then there was a the third the mystery partner which ended up being Hogan but this is actually from 1995 uh, Bash at the Beach um, I do remember him wearing this attire for the most part in WCW I don't know if I ever saw him wear this in WWF at the time that's what WWE was called um, WWF before the World Wildlife Foundation decided that they were like oh we need the F so, you get the F out. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. Um, looking at Macho Man here, he does come with three accessories. He comes with his hat here and then his sunglasses, which come off. And then he comes with his bandage wrap right here. Because he was uh, sporting, a, sporting an injury. He was uh, selling an injury at the time. But uh, here are his sunglasses. Looks pretty cool, very 90s-esque design. Here's his hat, it says Macho on it. And he's got some like flames, flame decals on the side of the hat. Looks awful, but that's the 90s for you. Um, and then he comes with his bandage wrap, which is sculpted on the outside, and then the inside doesn't really have bleh. And it just kind of snaps in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up today. It's like been crazy weather this entire time, and Buffalo. Jesus. It's been like, what, 60 degrees one day, and then the next day it'll be, you know, 60 degrees, and then 40 degrees, and then, you know, then it's 3 degrees, and then <laughs> just all over the place. So, surprised I haven't gotten sick once yet this uh, winter. But I digress. Um, looking at Macho Man, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I do like the accessories here. Um, I like the, uh, the sculpt, but I, I just wish the paint was a little bit better... <laughs> on these like little tassels that kind of hang off of his attire here. That would have been pretty cool. Um, some of them do hang a little bit from the sculpt, like this, you got this guy right here hanging. Um, also, the, the tassels from his boots are unfortunately a little bit inaccurate. Um, he didn't have tassels going all the way around, kind of like the Ultimate Warrior. He had tassels hanging from the sides, and then you could see his laces on his boots here. It's not the end of the world, but I, I tend to nitpick with things like that, especially wrestlers' attires, because I, for some reason, remember a lot of <laughs> my favorite wrestlers' attires, and he's one of my favorite wrestlers uh, when, growing up as a kid, you know. Um, it was always Macho Man and Roddy Piper were my two favorites growing up, and the, my favorite tag team at that time was uh, the Rockers and the Hart Foundation. So, And then Shawn Michaels being my favorite of all time, but... Uh, Macho Man looks really cool here. They I do have a little bit of paint issues on his on his uh, knuckles here, which aren't supposed to be there. I know he doesn't normally have wraps around his fingers, fingertips, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, that that those are obviously smudges that you can see right there. So there you go. Shed some light on the subject here. So it's not it's poorly painted on his fingers, but um, I'm still kind of f trying to figure out if uh, you know if it's me just nitpicking here or you know because I mean if you guys can see that right there, you can see where the paint is missed some of the sculpt. It's like come on, that's just me. I guess it's I guess it would be considered a nitpick of mine. <laughs> Um, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty cool. He does not include a title belt. I really wish 
sometime down the line, we would start getting, you know, some more WCW title belts. I understand that, you know, the WWE absorbed WCW, but since you own the rights, just give us the damn title belts. That's what we want. Come on. Give us the U.S. title, vintage U.S. title from WCW. Give us the tag team titles from WCW. Just, come on. Give us, give us what we want. Give us what we want, Mattel. You know what we want? Smack a bitch. Anyway, um, his uh, wraps do just come off like so, and then his hat just pops off, and then you kind of do that with the thing. Um, as far as the face sculpt goes, uh, pardon me, um, it looks like a younger Macho Man, and I'm not sure, 100% sure, if uh, this Macho Man was used, if this head was used. I'm going to assume it was, um, but I prefer the one from Series 23, that came with the title belt, which I'll actually bring him in. Just a quick little rant on the heads. Ow. If this is the younger version, um, and this was actually 1995, later on in his career when he went to WCW, um, then I feel like he should have this face sculpt, because this looks like an older Macho Man compared to this Macho Man. This looks like 1980s Macho Man. This looks like 90s Macho Man. <laughs> He just looks like a little bit older in the face, and uh, I feel like this use, the use of this face would have um, been better than the use of this one. But uh, still, both solid figures. I do like them. Um, this is actually from WrestleMania 8, when he was the WWF champion, and he faced Ric Flair for the title and won. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go with that. A little bit of information for you. But, uh, yeah, still a solid figure. Um, some, some cool accessories. Probably not my favorite Macho Man figure. But, uh, still a solid figure. Um, I'd recommend him. I mean, if you're a completist and you want, you're a Macho Man fan and you want all every single Macho Man, then you're going to want to get this guy. Especially, the, I think this is his second appearance for out of uh, all the figures that we've had so far from him, his second appearance from his WCW days, I believe his first was his uh, black and white NB NWO Macho Man. It is the only Macho Man figure that eludes me, by the way. The only one. Son of a bitch. But still to this, uh, to this day, um, I, I enjoy Macho Man action figures. I actually... Um, I, I, th I actually do think that this head sculpt was reused. I think it was reused in the defining moments uh, from WrestleMania. His WrestleMania 7 attire, um, this face was reused. So, um, in case you were curious about that. But um, anyway, I, I just, just a little notation. Um, just want to let everyone know. Um, I did have a separate channel for just like wrestling and sports talk. Um, and I've kind of decided to just keep everything on this channel. Uh, since I, I don't have one set thing that I review on this channel, really, uh, I'm just going to kind of collaborate everything and keep it all on one channel. It's just easier that way instead of me having to juggle two channels. And I kind of fell behind with the other channel while I'm trying to focus on this one. And then you know how that works. So I think it's just easier to just keep everything on there. Um, but if you do want to check out my reviews, you can check it out. It's under uh, Nickel City Kid. So there's that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I would actually like to pick up the, in the future, I would like to pick up the, uh, was it the Hall of Fame series, Macho King, Randy Savage? That would be really cool. I do have the Legends Macho King, but, um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, as far as his articulation goes, let me go through his articulation. That'll be the last thing I do. Um, his head does swivel full 360 rotation. It does look up and down like so. Uh, we got some job turkeys up in here. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And then um, he does have a tilt effect also to his head. And then his arms go up about that far down in full 360 rotation. He's got the bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow. I'd like to see in the future a double joint elbow, especially seeing how athletic um, wrestlers are. I feel like they should have a double joint elbow. Uh, wrist swivel, wrist hinge. Ab crunch which goes forward and uh, more so forward than back. Waist swivel. He's got T-joint hips which go out. And then he does go, both legs do go forward nicely. 
Um, they do swivel at the top of the thigh, double jointed knees. Uh, he does have a boot swivel, which is there. It's a little bit hindered from this tassel that's kind of sculpted right there, but you can get the other side in a full 360 rotation, so that's nice. Um, he does have an ankle hinge, which is extremely frozen, but it does work. It does go back, and ooh, be careful. Come on. And it does go forward about that far. It does have a little bit of an ankle pivot as well. So that's pretty much it for Macho Man here. Um, like I said, would I recommend him? Sure, he's a solid figure. Um, he's definitely not the best Macho Man. So if you're just looking for one, I would highly suggest you go after the Defining Moments. I know it's an older figure. It's probably harder to find now. But I think it's, if you're looking for one definitive Macho Man action figure, I would say that overall, as far as aesthetics go, as far as uh, accessories go, I would say go for that one. And then, um, I mean, good luck trying to get the NWO Macho Man. That's That thing goes for like $70 loose, which is, whew, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want one Macho Man and you want him for cheap, I would say you could probably definitely go after this guy. He's cheap, and he's a Macho Man, and he's a Macho Macho Man. He wants to be a Macho Man. Sorry, I'll stop that. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, uh, like I said, I would recommend him. He's a solid figure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.